construction industry. As seen on this picture, an AC fire rated separation wall was used between two buildings. This warehouse was a metal building with structural steel components. The warehouse had chemical items stored, which by a fire developed a temperature of up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a temperature where steel loses its structural value and starts to deform. AAC can withstand an outstanding 2,190 degree and this more than 100 hours. Let me show you personally how this works. So I have a regular propane torch here which can develop approximately 1,995 degrees. So I will use it, as you can see here, and hold it right onto the AAC which is only 2 inch thick. So right now I'm coming close to 1000 degree, 1500 degree, and now you can see the red spot already. So now I'm close to 1995 degrees. It's, it's where steel basically starts to deforming slowly. I don't feel anything else on the other side. I can do it all day long. But I need my propane tank for another presentation, so I will stop here. It's basically the rule of thumb, it's one inch, one hour fire rating. What I will show next is that AAC is very airtight. So what you need in order to keep a fire burning, it's first of all the fuel, which could be anything in a house, furniture, carpet, and what you also need, it's air. So what I show here in this little box, it is two and a half square inch hole, what we drilled in here. I will light a candle. I will put the candle into the two and a half inch hole and add a lid on top. So after approximately 14 seconds, the candle will extinguish, which shows you basically if you have a building where it starts burning inside and you have an AC walls, floor and ceiling. The air will not come into the building in order to keep the fire burning. Sure, you need fire rated doors and fire rated windows. So that will be approximately now 14 seconds and as you can see, the candle is off. I believe this picture speaks for themselves the only house which survives the large fire in 1993 in Laguna Beach, California. Would you like to build fire safe in order to protect your assets and your life and the life of your family? AAC is lightweight. It is a fifth of the weight of concrete, which is easier to install and does not require heavy equipment or large labor force, which results in lowering handling cost. AAC even floats million of independent air pockets making this possible. AAC is absolute energy efficient. AAC is the only 100% green single wall construction unit in the US which excellent thermal values. So what we all like is keeping the cold air outside in the winter and keeping the hot air outside in the summer and maintaining all year round a constant interior temperature. So how can we do it? First, with our excellent thermal resistance. AAC has a thermal resistance which is 10 times better than concrete. Secondly, with our high thermal mass values, also known as heat capacity. So the mass wall benefits with a time lag, which is simple, that the exterior temperature fluctuates during the day and throughout the night. But we like the interior temperature constant so that we don't have to reheat or recool every one to two hours during this time period. So when building with an AC wall, only eight inch thick, the interior room temperature remains constant for eight hours. See this table. Within the 24 hour time difference, an 130 degree temperature increase, the interior temperature of an eight inch wall remained almost constant by plus minus eight degrees. AAC is only slightly air permeable. Without considering the joints, windows and doors, the air escapes at a rate of 0.03 per hour per cubic yard, which one PSI pressure difference, which is 20 times better than the passive house regulation requires. AAC has no thermal bridges, 
like other traditional building systems, so no air can escape. Our specific heat values of an 8 inch AC block is two and a half times better than a three and a half inch bedded insulation board. So there is no need for any additional insulating materials. AAC actually absorbs sound. Walls, floors and roofs constructed with AAC reduces the transmission of sound which results in virtually soundproofing the interior rooms. And why? Because AAC is 60 to 70 percent air with mostly enclosed air pockets. AAC exhibits higher sound absorption than traditional concrete products, up to 9 decibel better than material of the same weight. The sound transmission class, known as STC, is a single number rating of the ability to resist the airborne sound transfer at frequencies between 125 to 4000 Hz. Even with a STC rating, any penetration, air gap, of flanking pass can seriously degrade the isolation quality of a wall. AAC has no air gaps and no flanking passes. AAC outperforms in all frequencies any other building materials of its weights per area ratio. So as an example here, you have an 8 inch exterior wall and a car alarm starts outside which creates around 110 decibel. Our 8 inch wall reduces the sound by 51 decibel, which is almost half. Calculation data based on the weight per area was calculated to resist only up to 46 decibel. Here we outperformed it clearly. Let's see the last test. An intermediate floor panel with padding and carpet. Let's assume a family in the second floor has a party with friends and are dancing and playing music. They can create noise between 90 to 110 decibel. So an 8 inch AEC floor panel can resist the airborne sound transfer by 70 dB, so that only 30 dB is remaining, which is the noise level of a library. Normal noise levels for playing children is around 50 decibel, and street noise is 80 decibel. So just have to resist an airborne sound transfer down to t remaining 20 dB in order to have a good night's sleep. Easy achievable with an 8 inch wall. Let me show you a little test. Okay, so let's assume you have a house built with autoclaved eroded concrete walls, floors, ceilings and even the roof. So you have noisy neighbors, outside noise, car noises or even your own kids will do a party in the second floor. So let me show you how it is if a noise with 25 decibel occurs next to you and you want to watch your own TV show. I will put this media player into the box as you still can hear it. Now we add a 2 inch lid on top. You hear how quiet it is? Now you can enjoy your own TV show and relax. AAC is weather resistant. AAC withstands the wind loads of category 5 tropical storms. Several AAC homes faced a triple attack from the 2004 Florida hurricanes and were still livable. In Lake Wales, Florida, a contractor had added a 1200 square foot AAC addition which suffered no damage during the hurricane. The stick frame portion of the home was utterly destroyed. I myself lived for 10 years in Florida and experienced several hurricanes firsthand. AAC passed the stringent Dade County P201 large missile impact test. Let's check out some clips from this day of the test. You can see this 2x4. Wow, this was fast. Let's see it again. This 2x4 was projected with 34.7 miles per hour. And this test was done in 1997 for Dade County, Florida, the most stringent hurricane county in the US. This projectile did only indented the AC by a quarter of an inch. AAC even withstands earthquakes. In the 2007 MSJC, the Masonry Standard Joint Committee, rated AAC for all seismic design categories. In 1995, an earthquake hit Kobe, Japan. Over 5,000 AAC homes withstood the massive quake with no damage. 300 homes had minor damage. In 